Today on People in Places, we bring you the story behind the light sculptures that illuminate the night sky of Kobe, Western Japan. In 1995, the city was devastated by the Great Hansen earthquake. At the end of the same year, the first annual light festival was held to honor the victims. Kobe Luminarie has come to symbolize the city's reconstruction. But almost 22 years after the disaster, memories of the earthquake are fading. Today, we hear about the people who are working to keep the lights of hope shining brightly. Each December, thousands of light bulbs are switched on in Kobe, transforming wooden structures into brightly lit art. The skies over the city take on an illuminated glow. This annual event began as a memorial for the victims of the earthquake and to cheer up local residents. On January 17, 1995, a magnitude 7.3 quake ripped through the Kansai area of western Japan. 6,434 people died. As the reconstruction efforts dragged on, the atmosphere in the city became gloomier. On the festival's 20th anniversary in 2014, some people proposed making that year's festival the last. But the people of Kobe had grown fond of their new festival, and the tradition lives on. I lived through the earthquake. So I have very strong feelings about this light festival. It truly is a beacon of hope for me. I experienced the earthquake, but my children were born after it. I want Luminaria to help me share stories about the devastation and the long road to reconstruction. Light festivals originated in Italy. The name Luminarie refers to Christian prayer festivals that have been held around Europe since the 16th century. The idea is said to have been influenced by architecture that relies on artificial light. The current use of electric lights began in southern Italy, where light festivals are held every summer. He has employed symbolic Baroque style patterns, including this motif that looks like a flower. The corridor's ceiling is two meters lower than last year. The front of the gate has also been made to look more three dimensional, and it's been filled with light so that the visitors walking through it are enveloped in a glow. Luminaria experts traveled from Italy to help assemble the installation. It's mid October, and the materials have arrived. Some of the structures are as tall as 21 meters, and they have to be put together by hand up to their very tips. Lighting expert Tommaso De Martinis has been working in this field for 40 years. He says he's very excited to participate in the Kobe Luminarie. But with the opening night nearing, he pushes on. Andiamo? Sì, ciao. He checks all 330,000 LED light bulbs to make sure they work properly and that the colors are balanced. It's time consuming work, but he works patiently every day. I'm very happy that the people of Kobe have chosen a luminary to honor the victims of the earthquake, just as we do in Italy. The big night has arrived when the lights are switched on. Kimwa Narita is a native of Kobe and is the event's official photographer. Like other survivors of the quake, Narita has drawn strength from the luminarie. For 10 years, Narita has been taking photographs of people admiring the lights, the same people who hope this festival will keep running for many years to come. There are so many people who look truly happy, who even look like they're praying. It reminds me that lots of people need Luminarie, that it's become the kind of event people live for. 
Also at the ceremony were the Italian technicians. They joined the people of Kobe in a moment of silence for the victims. Monteverde feels he's accomplished his goal of bringing joy and hope to the people of Kobe. It has such a beauty and the, the feelings of millions of people are here. It's not only just the lights, it's the people who make this event so great and so wonderful. The first luminarie offered a ray of hope during one of the darkest periods in Kobe's history. Now, the festival and the unchanging beauty of light continues to brighten the hearts of the people. The Kobe Luminarie is being held every night and runs until December 11th.